Welcome to a new video by DJS BRC. We have the Kyosho Trail King in front. Uh, it is one of the newest one in the well, newest one, newest addition, should I say, to the fleet. Uh, we do have the Blizzard. That's going to get upgrades too soon. But the Trail King here, we're going to go with steel tracks from Kyosho. Uh, one of the first things you're going to do, you're going to remove the body, put that aside. Uh, this Trail King has uh, two Hobby Wing 1060s with uh, two Dynamite 380s in it to give it a little bit more of a humph. That's one of the reasons uh, we're going with steel tracks on this guy here. Let's put him aside for the moment and let's open this box. And there is there is weight to these guys. Locking pins. Chinese and English. Heavy duty middle uh, caterpillar blizzard. cardboard in the middle these are nice this is all rubber everything's pre-assembled just it's nice now if you make sure to read an instruction adjust the belt by 310 da -da -da, size screw that's your tensioner here Cover your track belt and shoe. Okay. The only thing I'm not 100% sure if they do say it. I don't think. There's holes on one side, uh, round holes on one side and square on the other side. I'm not sure which side would go, but let's find out. If it's not correct, it's not correct. Easiest way I to do it, basically, I unscrew the back. And I remove the complete wheel and that lets me remove the track. Now, if I take this vehicle, put it aside, track was like this on it. It's pretty much, it's, it's, I don't think it really matters on what side you put it, but what I'm gonna do, the opposite, and the reason is once it's on it, where the chain is, will be on the square side. Grab this guy again, put it on the side. Okay. I'm going to try to tighten the tensioner here to bring this out a bit. Grab my gear. Try to realign it with my hole. 
And again, making sure she's sitting where she needs to be sitting. Everything seems fine. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky because there is two holes for where the back wheel goes and right now I'm going to go to the closest one if I go to the farthest one this will be way too tight Make sure everything's sitting correctly. There we go. Might need to tighten the tensioner a bit, but that's not too bad. Let's do the other one. If you notice, like that's what I was saying, there's two holes here. I'm not sure if you can really see it. One outer, one inner. to make sure this is going to stay up here inside the track itself you're going to notice there's a place here that the main these main wheels roll in the middle just make sure all your rollers are on that space Now this is going to be the one that's going to give me more headaches. Remove the screw here. Align the wheel. And I'm just going to look through the hole and try to align where the bolt goes. This is a little bit harder to do on video, especially. Make sure everything still moves. Put a little bit of tension on it, and there you go. This is how you install metal tracks on a Kyosho. Same thing will be on the Blizzard and the Trail King. Now, always keep these guys here. If you ever break these guys, you'll have your spares ones. Don't get rid of this. Uh, and there is other models. You can even 3D print it. Look for future videos on that one. Uh, but if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. It does help the channel a lot. And thank you for watching.